So, um, I defeated level eight. It's time to move on. Oh, rating 1200. So the scholar's mate probably won't work. Or they do challenge again. Oh, I'm white again. Am I just white every game? I wanted to play a Stafford Gambit. Let's see what she plays. Oh, is she going to play a Stafford Gambit? Hmm. Actually, bishop c5 could transpose. If knight c6 takes, takes. Okay, this is just garbage for black. No offense. You select the color before you start the game oh, control. I guess I didn't realize that. Good to know. Okay, so this is very, very pleasant. <laughs> uh, Beth is violating all the opening principles and getting forked. Probably getting forked multiple times because e5 is coming. Let's go. So, so many things are attacked. Wow, that's a legal move. I don't know how many people know this, but you can legally castle even when there's a knight here. As long as the king is not attacked or moving through check. So, my pawn is pinned, actually. But I can take a bishop and also deliver check. And now attack the queen. I just want to chase the queen away from the e-file. Okay, let's castle. Attacking the knight, getting the king safe. And now queen g4, threatening the knight and threatening mate. That's actually a good move. Beth realizing threats. Mm. Is this knight trapped? A knight is kind of trapped. I have this move. Knight has no safe squares. Oh, d5. Wow. If I ampus on, I lose a queen. Okay, let's play queen h4. d5 was a good move. Thankfully, if I lose a bishop, I win the knight. But she's playing well already. Okay, f3. g5, what is this move? What is this? Queen h5? Everything is still under control, I think. I have I have 75% of a central pawn cube. I think my goal this game is just to get a pawn cube now. Or just to mate. Probably to mate. <laughs> Let's check. Oh no, my queen! Oh no! Checkmate. Let's go. Ha ha ha. That was nice. I feel kind of bad, but not really because my opponent's not actually human. So I can... I guess I can hurt its feelings all I want. Oh, I, I didn't even realize it's, it's, try, it's talking to me. I hate losing. Oh, now I kind of feel bad. But losing is learning, right? Losing is learning. As long as you have the right perspective. Okay, that was fun. This <laughs> final position. I hope I didn't offend anyone. I should kind of pay attention to what she's saying, I guess. Okay, does that require any analysis? I mean, yeah, it was a free pawn and it was free center. But sometimes at like the lower levels, it's just about taking free stuff and making sure you're not giving away anything for free. So, yeah, like the key to succeeding at, at low levels is just pretend that every day is your birthday and then just keep taking presents and don't give anyone else presents. The key to winning. Okay, let's let's move on. Let's um That was age nine. New game. So now we're moving on to 
age 10, rated 1600. Ooh, it gets stronger. Or she gets stronger, I should say. So when I click this, oh, I'll click random. <laughs> okay, this is good to know. I didn't see this, these buttons before. Play the Queen's Gambit. Oh, but I'm black. I want to play a Stafford Gambit. Will she go into it? Stafford Gambit time? Against, oh, she's playing d4. I really wanted a Stafford. Can I just resign? No, I have a perfect score. I can't resign. I'll have to suffer with whatever this is. So I'll take. I'll see how, how much theory she knows. So queen d4. Oh, yeah, she knows theory. Yeah, queen d4 is the main line. And she knows en passant, too. Impressive. Have to take with knight. This is still theory. At some point, I'll get a Stafford. Man, she's playing. Man, she's playing all like the GM moves. Um, I think Bishop d6 here. <laughs> she's only sixteen hundred. Okay, we're gonna simplify. And eventually, hopefully, she'll blunder, before I blunder. A lot of tension between the queens. Yeah, this is much more difficult than the, the first two games. Let's save the bishop. Wow, what is g4? And g4 is, um, is interesting. But probably... Wait, what is g4? It's probably weakening. At some point, my bishop will be... Staring down the pawn. I want to do this, but uh, then my knight is kind of overworked. So I think the, the better approach here is to take the bishop first. If white takes back, I'll play knight f Oh, but my pawn. Okay, thankfully I have h6. I think it's still okay. I'm getting outplayed, though. Hmm. She saw my plan. But she didn't take g5, so that's a good sign. I don't think I'm better here. But this is kind of sketchy play from white. Like the knight's almost trapped. Let's start with c3 or c6. Preventing bishop d5, I want to play f6 and just trap the knight. f4, what a move. Okay. Gonna be hoppity hoppity with the knight. Oh, it's a fork. Let's go. Bam, the fork knight has appeared. Up until 93, like, I wasn't entirely comfortable. But now I'm very, very comfortable. Yeah, and now we're gonna, gonna force this and then takes and then f5. Get some nice kind of pawn. Oh. Oh, what is this move? Did I get too comfortable? I got kind of comfortable. Oops. Mm. I wanted to play this and hold on. I'm, I'm going to lose f5. <laughs> I let my guard down, but it's okay. I'm going to win this pawn. Yeah, it's still completely winning. This is not the cleanest game, though. Okay, let's show some endgame technique. So in the endgame, to win positions like this, uh, you want to activate all your pieces, especially your king. And then probably eventually the rook. 
Have you ever wondered if maybe pieces don't actually move but instead an identical copy is created at the new square and the old piece just kills itself via what? apoptosis like in the prestige? Uh... Mm, mm, I don't know if I understand. Oh, like, um... What was the word you used? Apoptosis. Sounds poppy. Yeah, end games are all about making past pawns. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Can I pre move mate? Maybe not quite. Okay, we'll corral the king. No, let's actually. Let's win a pawn. What? I lost track of the position. You just have to be careful not to stalemate. There we go. Okay. Does this make me a bully? I don't know. 